All right then, gang. So we've set up this application with the React router. So we're getting the right component loaded on the page whenever we go to one of these URLs. But if you notice, every time I click on a link, it's sending off a request to the server to get that index page back. And we can tell that because we get a little refresh up here when we click on a link, okay? And if you wanted to, you could open up the dev tools and you could check that request out in the network tab. So how do we prevent this behavior? Because really, we don't want to request the index page over and over again. We already have it. We don't need to change it. So we want React to come in and take over so that if we go to forward slash contact or whatever, then React says, no, we don't need to make that request. In fact, I'll just load in the contact component. Now, the way we do that is very, very simple. I'm going to go to where we have the nav bar up here. And instead of using anchor tags directly, we're going to use something that is built into the React router DOM package called a link or a nav link. So let's import this first of all at the top. So let's say import, and then we're going to import a couple of things. So open up your curly braces, and then we're going to import the link first of all, and then the nav link. Now I'll explain the difference between these in a minute, but for now, let's say from React router DOM. All right then. So down in here, we want to change these things right here from anchor tags directly to link tags. So let's change this to a link and let's close that link off as well. Now, the way we do this is by adding on a two property. And this is going to be where we want this link to go. So very much like the href attribute. So we want this to be to forward slash. Now let's do the same for this thing. So I'll say link two is equal to about and then close off the link tag. And then finally, we'll say link to forward slash contact and close that off as well. Okay. So now then we've changed all those anchor tags to links. And if we go to the browser, it still looks the same. And if we inspect this in the dev tools, then you're going to see it actually outputs an anchor tag. So we're not getting anything different in the HTML right here. It's just that we've used a link tag over here imported from the React router DOM to do this. And what this does is prevent the default action from occurring when we click on one of these anchor tags. So, you know, like we did e.preventDefault on a form submission to prevent the page being reloaded. Well, the link tag behind the scenes is doing something similar, but for the anchor tag, it said, okay, prevent that default action of going out and making a request to a server. We don't want that to happen anymore. And instead, I'm going to tell the React router DOM to take over and just load in the correct component based on the URL we're going to. So now if I click home, then we get the home component, but you'll notice we didn't refresh the page or send another request out. Same for about, same for contact. And not only did we not make another request, this is now a lot smoother because we're not making that request. It's quicker and it's smoother. So this is good. We always should use the link tag if we want to link to a page or rather a component rather than anchor tags. Now, I said we also imported this thing right here, nav link. So let's see the difference. If I type in nav link instead to about, and I'll do the same thing for contact, and I'll just leave the top one as is for now. It doesn't really need to change, but oh, we need to change our closing ones as well. Nav link and also nav link. Okay, so now if I go to one of these, for example, about, and it works the same, but if I inspect this element now, you can see because I've used nav link, we now have this class applied to the element class of active right here. We didn't get that with the link tag. If I click on home, you can see we don't get that on the home link right here, but we do when we use the nav link. When we use a nav link to output an anchor tag, we get the active class when that has been clicked and we're on that URL. So if I go to contact, we can see it's been taken off about because we're no longer on the about URL. But if we go to contact, it's been added right there. So this is useful if we want to start applying some different styles to the active links. So there we go, my friends. That's how we use link and nav link to link to different pages or components, if you like and we don't have to send additional requests to the server.